And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, we had a big taste of winter across Northeast Wisconsin today. We did not all see some accumulating snow, but we all saw some very cold temperatures and more is on the way for tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow, once again, only in the mid to upper 20s. A good 15 to 25 degrees below normal for this time of year. We'll see 30s as we move through the weekend and then we'll start to warm up as we head into next week with temperatures returning to the 40s. Right now, temperatures continue to drop pretty quickly from the 20s into the teens. It's already down to 19 degrees in Appleton. We've got 19 in Shano and it's currently 18 degrees in Clintonville. In Green Bay, we're now looking at mostly clear skies. The temperature is 20 degrees. Still have northwest winds sustained at around 20 miles per hour with gusts up over 30 miles per hour at times. And of course, that is making it feel much, much colder out there. Frigid wind chills across the viewing area. It already feels like two below in Anago. And right now in Green Bay, it feels like four. Here's a look at the time lapse from earlier today. Along with the cold and the wind, we had some snow. Here's a brief moderate snow shower that moved through Ashwaubenon during the late morning and early afternoon. You can see those snow showers and flurries here on Storm Shield radar. A lot of this activity actually lake effect snow coming in from Lake Superior where the snow is really piling up tonight. High pressure is going to be our main weather maker throughout the night and into tomorrow. And this is an Arctic area of high pressure. That's a word or a phrase I usually don't use in early November. Take a look at these temperatures this afternoon, only in the teens and 20s across the Badger State. In Green Bay, at 3 o'clock today, it was 24 degrees. Our normal high is 46. 24 degrees at 3 o'clock, that's more typical of mid-January. Absolutely amazing. Now, after a cold day, we can expect a very cold night with clear skies and slowly diminishing winds. Temperatures tomorrow morning will drop into the upper single digits to lower teens. Off to the north and west, we'll be looking at lows dropping below zero. The record low temperature for tomorrow is 12 degrees. That is certainly within reach. We'll probably be within a couple of degrees of it either way. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, then increasing clouds. We'll see high temperatures in the upper 20s. Meanwhile, our winds are going to switch to the south and east, and that means we could have a few lake effects snow showers right near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. As high pressure moves away, our next weather system moves in for Saturday with the chance of a wintry mix. So tonight, clear and very cold. The record low is 12. That's what I'm forecasting. Tomorrow, we can expect sunshine, then increasing clouds. Once again, a few lake flakes are possible from Door County down through Sheboygan County. Look at that high, 28. The normal low tomorrow is 30. That shows you how cold we are on Saturday. A wintry mix. Some minor snowfall accumulations are possible. Mid 30s, upper 30s on Sunday, lower 40s on Monday. We'll continue to warm up here as we head through the second half of next week with a chance for some on and off rain showers. High temps will be in the 40s, close to 50, maybe late Wednesday or early Thursday. And a good point to maybe get snow tires or get your car prepped and ready, right? It's that time of the it's year. That time of the year. Yep. All right, Cameron, thanks so much. We'll still ahead. Pulaski High School students get a chance to get real world.